Today is a special day. We are getting new sneakers put on the truck. And before we do that, I kind of wanted to review the tires that came with the truck, which are Nexon Rodians. We've put 42,000 miles on the truck. 37,000 miles of that have been with the camper on it. So these tires have definitely been put to the test and we're actually pretty impressed with them. I read a lot of reviews about them saying that they had sidewall issues and blowout problems. They had the tread letting go. They're not the greatest off-road tires or anything like that, but for factory installed tires, they've done really well. For the last 20,000 miles or so, I was kind of afraid that we were gonna have problems with the tires. We spend a lot of time driving down dirt roads and doing some really mild off-roading. And a few times we've had rocks kind of stick into the sidewall and things like that. The reviews that I had read about the tires that we have on the truck were pretty terrible. But I think a lot of that is because most people don't review something unless they have a problem. No one's going to come out and be like, hey, these tires have been great. Uh, it's a small percentage of people. But I'm sure that people have had problems. I don't think they are the best quality tires. I was just looking at them actually as I was shopping for new tires for our truck. And I realized they're, they're pretty expensive. They were super quiet. They were very comfortable to drive with. And I didn't really have any major issues with them. But I also didn't have any experience with any of the tires. The new tires that we're getting today are Cooper Discoverer AT3s. Uh, they're the LT model and they're kind of in between the on-road and off-road tire, kind of a hybrid. But for now, I just want to show you what these Nexon Rodian tires look like after 42,000 miles of full-time travel hauling a 5 to 6,000 pound truck camper. Our total rig weight varies between 14,000 and 14,800 pounds. It depends on our water and what we're carrying on the front rack. Sometimes we load it up with wood, which is heavy. So the tires have definitely been kind of pushed to their limits and I'm pretty happy with them. Let me go outside and show you what they look like. Uh, it's going to be a little bit noisy because we're in a parking lot. Sasha's drinking iced coffee, playing with her phone. She's probably doing Instagram stories. Yes, that is correct. She's the Instagram master. Someone has to do it. Glad it's not me. All right, tires. So this is one of those rare occasions that we have our camper off the truck. And let me just go around all four corners and I'll show you what we have. The tires, uh, they still have some tread on them. They're getting down to the wear bars, but you can see, let me see, I'll change the lens. You can see they're starting to get uh, kind of shredded. We ended up rotating these uh, about 20,000 miles ago and that was a big, big mistake. We, we didn't know what we were doing and we've learned from that. We have these nice shiny aluminum wheels and you can see this is nice and clean but the inside is not and I'll show you what happens to the inside. On the front wheels the, the dished part like right here is on the inside. When you do heavy braking the brake dust and the, the pieces of metal I guess come off and then they embed themselves. This is all pitted into the aluminum wheel and you can see it builds up there now I have scrubbed these I've cleaned them let me see if I can show you what what it leaves behind this is basically rust so the hot metal comes off the brake shoes and the disc the rotor and it, it embeds itself into the aluminum so I'd like to find someone that can clean that what we should have done is swapped the wheels in a different rotation a different way like just side to side. That way the inside and outside of these wheels wouldn't have changed. This was the front tire and you can see it's significantly more worn. Uh, the front steering tires take all the abuse from cornering and stuff like that. You can see it's right down to the wear bars here. Whereas this tire has been here since day one. There's still a fair amount of uh, tread here, especially here. It looks like we've actually had the tires over inflated even though we run under the recommended pressure. Our rig is usually a little bit overloaded, so for a while I was running them at max pressure and I've found that I need to soften it a little bit. So the truck recommends 80 pounds in the front and 65 in the rear for maximum payload, which is going to be a total of 14,000 pounds. But right now we're at like 14,500 and I'm running the rears at 60 and the fronts at like 75 and I'm still having center wear, which indicates it's over inflated. For the most part, these tires, you know, they're starting to get these, these ripped out parts. But the sidewalls have held up. No issues at all. They still ride pretty well. Um, 
There's a little bit of imbalance, but it's it's not bad, especially for 42,000 miles. We've never had them balanced. Here we go. We got some sun on this side. You can see on this side, I have the same issue where it's pitted. Um, I think if I had it to do all over again, I'd probably just go with steel wheels. That way I can rotate the tires without having to worry about it. Uh, again, on this side, you can see it's pretty pretty worn. These, This was the front tire. It's now the rear tire. This side is more worn. Um, my guess is that we might have more weight on this side. I haven't been able to figure out a way to to weigh one side of the camper or the other, but that's a good thing for me to remember. I think this side is definitely heavier. It's where my batteries are, it's where our office is, and I think it's also where the black tank is. Um, and then this tire, <laughs> this one takes the brunt of it. I believe we just had this aligned, and you can see how absolutely worn out this is. This is all starting to peel back. Um, I think because of the crown of the road and you're kind of always steering slightly towards the left that this tire gets worn. For the most part it's worn pretty much down to nothing. On the other side, let me jump over there. Sasha's still roaming. You can see there's quite a bit more tread and this isn't polished all the way down yet. 42,000 miles with heavy, severe usage. We're always finding boondocking spots. We're going through mountain roads, changing climates, changing elevation, driving over rocks. We haven't had any problems. Even to the point that in two years, I have never had to add air to these tires. I set them and I monitor them with our TPMS and they have absolutely stayed solid. The only time that I added air was when it got really cold out, I had to kind of blow them up a little bit, but then when the temperature increased again, I dropped the pressure down. They, they literally haven't lost a single pound of air. So I'm really impressed with that. Uh, it shows you how well they installed them at the factory. So in conclusion, these Nexen Rodians have actually been really good. We haven't had a single issue with them. They don't lose any air pressure. They ride well. They've held their balance for 42,000 miles. But based on the reviews and the technical specs, I would not buy them again. Uh, not for our purposes, especially for the price. For the price, you can get much better tires, uh, actually cheaper. The AT3s that I'm looking at getting installed today are about $23 more per tire, but they're just a much better tire. So that's why we're going in that direction. However, if you get a truck and it comes from the factory with these Nexen Rodians, just run them. They're actually good. They've exceeded their tread life uh, warranty, which is 40,000 miles. We have 42,000 on them, and if I had rotated them properly, I probably could get another five to 8,000 miles out of them. So I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. I can't say that I'm a fan, but I'm impressed based on what they've done for us. So I think that's it. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, click the little bell icon so that you get notified every time we post something. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.